Not even clickbait, guys. This is literally the most insane attack I have seen at Town Hall 12 yet. The mass hog with the skeleton spell. We have close to 50 hogs of our own, plus those in the stone slammer. This thing is insane. What is up, guys? Bisectatron here, though, bringing you guys today's video and talking about the update a little bit. You guys may have seen some sneak peeks by other YouTubers. I've been playing, playing around with some new strategies post-update on the developer build. And guys, this is something I think it'll crush bases, not post-update, but right now. Load it up on your iPad, on your iPhone if you're a Town Hall 12. Start doing this attack strategy. This is crazy. You'll see these bases are totally crushed by this. Um, basic idea is you're going to try to sue your heroes for the Town Hall and then just hog the rest. Just all out hogs with two skeleton spells. Um, you may have seen they've been revamped a little bit. They now have little shields, so they take two hits to be destroyed. Um, right there, the skeleton spells are dropped on the queen amidst the hogs. That's how you do it. Have the warden's ability mixed in as well. But basically, it's not that hard. Only tricky part of this attack is using your heroes to suey the town hall uh, to get it taken out with, you know, ice golem, wall breakers. And you can use more troops if needed, but really that's the only tricky part. And then just spread out hogs, reinforce a little bit, use the slammer where there's not many air defenses. Uh, also hogs in the slammer, but I don't even know if the slammer goes down this entire attack here. Um, oh yeah, there it does. More hogs come out. Wow, this strategy, and I'm going to point out the things that are, you know, post-update that make this a little more powerful in this video. But that does not change the fact that this will do very well, and I'll have replays soon, hopefully. Uh, this will do very well right now. But anyway, the things that are different in the, this replay, because it is off the developer build, coming from the uh, update gameplay, updates, you know, in sneak peek mode, so you can do the math based on past experience as to how long it'll take for it to come out. But we are starting to see sneak peeks like this one. Um, and the new things that are coming, among other things, we have the skeleton spell getting a bit of a buff. The skeletons now have shields, so they're going to be stronger. Uh, they're going to be harder to be taken out by defenses. Um, and we also have level 65 King Queen and level 40 Grand Warden. That's big stuff, I'm not going to lie. I mean, that, that definitely makes a difference for these attacks. But if you look at these, you know, it's not like we're barely getting the Town Hall. Um, the pathing's not going to be any different for anything. It's just a little more uh, punch on these heroes. But that's not, you know, the make or break for this attack. Uh, bases tend to have the Town Hall relatively exposed. The King is guarding it, but an Ice Golem is a great way to kind of disarm the local damage. Um, it's very reasonable to more or less sue your heroes in for the Town Hall on a given base at Town Hall 12, because the Town Hall tends to be so isolated from the rest of the uh, damage dealing defenses. Um, and then from there, you're just spreading out the hogs, no new levels, the hogs are already level 9 in game. Uh, heal spells, the poison spell is one level higher, that's another change you guys may have noticed if you've been following the update. Um, but even that, not making a huge difference, just killing a few archers in the CC. And a note about the CC, um, I put hound archers in all of these, it can be a little tricky if you have like, you know, baby dragon, witch, all this crap in there. So that has to be kept in mind, but uh, a lot of bases have lava hounds, and whatever else is in there, you can just poison it down, especially post-update once the new poison spell comes out. But even right now, uh, the max poison spell will kill balloons, it'll kill baby dragons, if you do it right. Um, Warden's ability is going to be a little bit better, a little bit stronger all around on the aura. But really guys, these are not that many close attacks. This is the closest one we'll see here because the pathing was so bad. The eagle is like the last defense to go down, but that just shows the power of the strategy. Um, the hogs, you know, went so far around the base, yet they still come out. Um, a few of them still come out alive. So, wow, this is quite a powerful strategy. Um, we'll take a look at two more replays. And I've recorded videos in the past where I've tried stuff out on the developer build. This is the first time where if I've wanted to show something, I have not had to really try that hard to make it like video quality. 
And by that I mean I attacked four bases and three starred all four times with this army composition. Um, nothing fancy, no like uh, you know attacking a base 30 times to get it perfect. And you can tell by that last attack it was far from perfect, but it's so strong it can just destroy bases if you get the basics correct. Let's move on to our next one here. Um, as I said, this is the hardest part of the first part, using the king, queen, er, and uh, some support troops to take out the town hall. Um, you'll see here, ice golem goes down. The ice golem's a great pair with the wall breakers, and you can use the ice golem to kind of freeze defenses, and right when everything's frozen, then drop your wall breakers. Not necessary on this base because there's not like any wizard towers, but if there are wizard towers or something that's going to kill your wall breakers, you can wait for the ice golem to be about to die, drop your wall breakers, the freeze effect will go in once the ice golem dies, and then uh, the wall breakers won't die to anything as long as you drop your test wall breaker to trigger any small bombs beforehand. So uh, in this case, the, uh, the king pulls the queen in. I think she would have pathed, uh, pathed in anyway regardless, maybe, maybe not, um, but that was very a nice feature. And if you're worried in your own attacks about the heroes, just use more funneling troops. I mean, if you have to, use a P.E.K.K.A., uh, use a Baby Dragon, use an E-Dragon. It does take away from your hog troop space, but as you can see, especially in this attack, there's going to be so many hogs left up at the end. Um, it's crazy. Warden's ability, right as those hogs are about to spring forward, he doesn't always follow as closely as you'd like him to, so you gotta wait for him to step forward for his radius to reach the hogs, then hit his ability right as the hogs are about to leap forward to a bunch of damaged uh, high DPS area. Uh, that'll get you the most value. And then we have the skeletons killing the queen back there. Once the hogs are like among the queen, like running past her, that's when you wanna drop your skeletons. Don't do it too early. If they die, you're really in trouble. Um, that one cannon down at the bottom was ignored. That's why it's always good to have like one or two hogs that you just don't drop till the very end, like till cleanup, or if there's like an island defense like that that just doesn't go down for whatever reason, the hogs bypass it. Um, it's nice to have something to uh, make cleanup go faster because time can be an issue depending on how long that first phase of the attack uh, lasts. But crush this base, look at all of those hogs still left up. Um, Wow. And um, yes, I have been experimenting a little bit with other army compositions, and it's not like Town Hall 12 is like necessarily broken now. Um, this is just a very strong strategy, and I think you'll find that's true at uh, lots of different Town Hall, or what am I saying? You'll find that's true right now in game, um, that this is a very strong strategy. You don't have to wait till the update. And I don't think this is going to be true with a lot of the other strategies that will have uh, increases to the level of troops that are used in their attacks. Um, this is, I think, relatively unique to the uh, to this strategy. So anyway, this last attack here, um, even more insanity with how crushed this base was, how absolutely destroyed it got. Great value on that ice golem because the town hall was activated by a wall breaker actually as it splash damaged upon one of the walls. So getting that freeze definitely helped take damage off the queen. Pop her ability, like I said, there's not much damage usually near the town hall, so the queen's gonna be up for quite a long time, and as you'll see, actually the entire attack. Now you like to use the slammer for areas, one, that don't have air defenses in them, but also that are gonna make the hog pathing tough, that kind of make things too wide. Areas that are awkward to hog, tend to be good for the slammer. Um, the hogs are better for the more uniform distribution of defenses and like these nice boxes and squares kind of going through the base here. Um, so once again, great warden ability as the hogs are moving through, drop down those skeleton spells. And yes, they are getting taken out very slightly by that multi-inferno. The key is that the hogs are closer to the inferno than the skeletons are, so the inferno is gonna lock onto the hogs mainly and it'll switch onto the hogs much more easily. Um, meanwhile, the skeletons can take out the queen without being targeted, which is what you want. And they also help with cleanup inside the base. Uh, if the queen wasn't alive, they'd help take out like the CC building, stuff like that. So, ton of hogs left up. Once again, extra hog would have been nice for like that cannon down there, because you do leave up these defenses randomly, uh, more than you would think. Uh, so that speeds things up. But we have the goblins, the wizards for cleanup. 
Hound's going to be running around as well. If it is a small CC you're facing, um, typically you're going to have a scout so you know what you're going into. Uh, poison spell, if you need to, you can do two poisons in one uh, skeleton spell. Typically you can get away with that, uh, especially if you get your warden's ability on some of that. So, Having said all that, thanks for watching. Strong strategy, definitely recommend it, and stay tuned for more videos. See you guys next time. Bisectatron out.